neighbor's um, kitchen, Andrea, and today we're going to make an Irish Cobham cupcake from Little Brown Eyed Baker, who mm -hmm. credits Smitten Kitchen. Um, these I make these every year. This is the this is what got me started on making cupcakes. So I'm not following my own recipe today. Today I'm following theirs. Yeah, I mean, since the St. Patrick's Day is coming, so <laughs> we figured we should do something. And Andrea is always good with cupcake. Oh gosh, every time she brought those cupcakes, <laughs> mm -hmm. I am always like stealing from Matthew. <laughs> so so you, I bring you cupcakes and you take them from Matthew. Yeah. So I need to send you home with six instead of four. Yeah, like if you, if you like give me three, I definitely will take two instead of three. <laughs> She's yeah. not telling her. Yeah. Yeah. So this time, like she said, oh, I'm gonna make some cupcakes. I was like, please, 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 can I take along so I can like you know see what, how you make the. <laughs> So yeah, here we are. All right, so we're starting out with, you have to heat your pan. We're starting out with the cup. We're gonna do a cup of Guinness and a yeah, cup beer. of butter. <laughs> the Guinness will leave the flavor, but it will cook out the alcohol. So if you're worried about little children or anybody under the age, um, not being able to eat the cupcake, it, cooks out and the amount that I'm going to add, the amount of alcohol I'm going to add to the ganache and the whipped icing is not much. Mm. Well, it's not enough to get anyone drunk. Now yeah. if you eat like 12 of these, you <laughs> start to feel something, but mm -hmm. it takes a lot. Yeah, it's just like cooking wine, you know, and alcohol usually just evaporates. Ooh. Ooh. That was super hot <laughs> and not necessarily ready for me and the butter yet. Oh, hmm. But it's okay. Okay, now we just uh, <clears throat> dump a stick of the butter. Yeah, I'm gonna dump. That's the half. That's half of a stick. Oh, okay. Um, and then this one. I don't know how it's gonna come out because it foamed. Mm -hmm. It doesn't calm down. I may have to redo it. Um, it's at room. The butter has to be at room temperature, so it's really uh, gross. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm. Just wait until this is melted. Yeah, that's I guess one thing not good about kitchen right? you can't just heat and blend it at the same time. We just stir it and till it simmers and then I can add cocoa powder. It says that you need three fourths cup, but I don't have a three fourths cup, so I'm gonna use three one fourths. Yeah. <clears throat> Once this is melted down, it's got to be melted down first. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice buttery, beery mixture. <laughs> All right. It looks like the butter is melted into the Guinness. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my first bit of cocoa powder, and I'm gonna stir this and get it all. <laughs> Cocoa powder is clumpy, so I want to get the clumps out before I administer the next set. Yeah. See now it's smooth. So throw a little more in there. Yeah, usually they will always say, oh, stirring while you're putting it in, but mm -hmm. it's kind of hard. <laughs> Alrighty. <clears throat> is the sour cream the, is for the frosting? No, it's actually for the cupcake itself. Oh. I don't <clears throat> know. It's the weird, I, I've never seen anyone else do it, but it works out amazingly well. It's mm -hmm. really good. It sounds weird, but you do not taste the sour cream in the actual cupcake. Yeah, because it usually, is delicious. Usually our picture will, will be like a cream cheese. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, normal, but it's, I don't, I don't, I think it adds to the moisture, I think is why they mm. do it. So if you're going, if it's the moisture that it does, yeah. then you can do like applesauce, you can replace it with, but you also do less sugar if you're doing applesauce, mm -hmm. and you can also do buttermilk. Oh no, it's kind of dense. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> it's just to turn it off and let it cool. Mm -hmm. And that part is done. Wait. Add cocoa, smooth and cool slightly. Okay. And next is the flour. 
Oh, we do need baking soda. Oh. I did pull out the baking soda for a reason. <laughs> I should go with my gut and I pulled it out and eat it. Huh. Oh, if you don't, I have some in my kitchen anyways. Oh no, I bought some fresh. Mm. So I always forget to write the date on it. I was thinking, All right, so a terrible design. This is two cups of sugar and two cups of flour. It's oh, just sweet. together. Mm -hmm. And you pour it in there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> One and a half teaspoons of baking soda. Mm. You need the baking soda, but you don't need the baking powder because the beer in the Guinness mm. is going to help fluff it up. Mm. So you don't need the baking powder. I never powder. understand what's the difference between baking soda or baking powder. They both, together, they help make the dough rise. Yeah. Because it's an all-purpose flour. Yeah. Alright, now two eggs and two-thirds of sour cream. New and improved sour cream. <laughs> Yeah, I love that package. It's kind of like a ketchup, I guess. <laughs> Dairy and ketchup. That looks like about two thirds. Mm. Mm. Spatula. I love spatula. It's perfect for OCD people. <laughs> you get just every little bit out. It says to blend it all as it's going, but I'm just gonna throw it in there because I don't oh. think it honestly makes a difference. That's all I do too. I, I only have two hands, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, then if we cut it on, then they won't be able to hear us. Mm. Or we won't be able to hear what we're saying. Yeah, two eggs. Just two. Whisk on medium speed until combined and then add the goose. Are you supposed to use another one? What? Um, no, um, this one is for your... This one is for batter. Mm. Um, this one is for your frosting. Oh, okay. Because it makes it fluffier. Uh -huh. I thought that too. Yeah. I, I read it on my KitchenAid actually. Oh, of I, I, I don't think I ever read the instruction. <laughs> like, yeah, KitchenAid, I know what to do. Mm hmm. Yeah. Alright, now I'm gonna add my mixture that has kind of gotten a little crumbly, but it's okay. Yeah, I can, I can It'll smooth out. So, I'll have something to do. <laughs> I don't know. You can pour it in there. Oh, to, to zip that one? Yeah. Oh, fuck. That's all you want on this good. You know that shield thing? They um, come together with the kitchen I never Mine didn't. It. Oh. Mine didn't come with a shield. Hey, you also the same as mine, the artisan. Oh yeah, I guess it does have a shield. I don't know, I never use it. Yeah, me either. Like, I know, it's probably good. Do you yeah. want to use a spatula? Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, you might want to pause it, because otherwise it's difficult to, like, scoop it in. Yeah, I, I never lock it. <laughs> I was like, what's the point of locking it? <clears throat> now I'm going to give it one good scoop around the base to make sure that I got everything mixed together. Mm. Yeah, sometimes I will do the, the surrounding as well to mm -hmm. push them down. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. And then it'll be ready for a couple more rounds and it'll be ready for dispensing into the cupcakes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'll put it in a piece of Guinness. <laughs> you can't taste the Guinness? I can. You can? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. It's not really like that. That weird aftertaste? Okay. You taste the weird aftertaste? That's Guinness. Mm. It's not too, too strong. No, it's not strong. Like, uh, if you don't tell me there's Guinness, I probably won't be Yes. Oh, you can do that. Mm -hmm. You have to do it just right, otherwise it splats everywhere. <laughs> you have to raise it really fast and hit it before it gets up, or you'll mm. get it everywhere. Mm. It takes time. <laughs> I use, I've tried, I've done it before and got it all over. My mom wanted to kill me. <laughs> she was not happy. Because <laughs> it got all over the kitchen. Oh, I don't know what I'm <laughs> like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm trying to get it all off the batter. Alright, now this is ready for 
So we're gonna stop here. Yeah, we're gonna. Okay, yeah, I'm just really looking. I'm rolling. Okay, now it's the time to put the cupcake. This is the quicker way. Mm. It's easier than trying to take like five spoonfuls and put it into oh. one thing. Yeah, it's hard to <clears throat> make a long See, it's thickening. Ooh. See? Yeah. Alright, that's good enough for now. Yeah. It will probably actually make more than 24. So you only do like half full? Like quarter to half of the way full? Mm. You don't want to do all the way full, but quarter to half the way. Mm. See, it's a little more than half, but it's not mm. all the way. Is Irish car bomb a very popular thing to do? Irish car bomb itself? Yes. I don't know about cupcakes. Oh. <clears throat> So what's the original form? Is it like a big cake? Mm, um, no, uh, Irish car bomb is actually a drink. Oh, okay. And mm. it is... Of course it's a drink. <laughs> yes, it, it's typically Guinness and an Irish whiskey. Yeah. It's a it's a whole thing in Guinness. And mm. a shot of an Irish whiskey, typically Jameson, mm -hmm. and then like Bailey's. Mm -hmm. A shot of Bailey's and you the Bailey's is last it's a good drink I just I'm not a fanatic of beer so it's not as mm. I don't typically drink it I have had it it's pretty good I like it better in cupcake mm. form mm. but I'm not a beer drinker so <laughs> I'm a whiskey drinker so but you can also find a way to celebrate St. Patrick Day I do I make uh, Irish car bombs and I make Guinness and beef stew mm. That's why y'all are coming over Friday for Guinness and Beef Stew. <laughs> and Irish Car Bombs. <clears throat> Maybe we should also make a video of the Beef Stew. <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, uh, you oh, have yeah, to get sure. super, you have to get up super early because I have to get up really early tomorrow and start it. Oh, tomorrow? What yeah. time? <laughs> oh, um, do I have to get up early tomorrow? <sighs> yeah, tomorrow. I have to get up super early. Tomorrow is St. Patty's Day. Mm. So yeah, we have to get up really early, mm -hmm. and I mean early, early. Mm. Like I need to make it, it needs to practically be ready in the pot by eight. Wow. It'll make more than mm. 24 cupcakes. So now we're doing about, not quite yet, but we're gonna do, we're gonna be making the ganache, which is two teaspoons of Jameson. This is more than teaspoon, two oh. teaspoons. I'm not pouring this whole thing in there, but I do typically do more than two teaspoons. Mm -hmm. um, but the recipe calls for two teaspoons and two thirds, so about a little over five ounces of heavy cream and chocolate. So you start out with bringing the heavy whipping cream to a simmer. Which it's already going to be simmering as soon as I put it in the bowl. Mm -hmm. It's been going for a minute. So this is how you melt the chocolate? Yeah, I use a double boiler. Some people can do it in the microwave, but I've never been able to do it in the microwave. Oh. I always burn it. <laughs> um, okay, so now that this is practically already simmering, mm -hmm. um, and dump the chocolate on here, and this is practically already boiling, so it's going to go really, really fast. Dump that on there. Yeah. Dump this over the chocolate. So you just put the water underneath? Yeah, you just put water in underneath and bring the water to a boil. Mm -hmm. And it said two teaspoons. I think I typically do four. Mm -hmm. I'll taste it when I'm done. And butter. Oh. This is another reason I use a double boiler because if you burn the chocolate before you get it mixed in, you screwed up. There's no going back once you burn chocolate. Chocolate is hopeless once you burn. <laughs> yeah. I mean, There's no way to save it. No. I feel like they should always like in the recipe book they say, okay, if you screw this part, how to save it? But they never <laughs> mention like There's really no way to save yeah. it. Just like if you screw up a roof or gumbo, there's no way to save it. Mm. Yeah, that's my ganache. Yay! So it goes on the top of it? No, it goes inside of it. Oh, yay! Now it's time to put the ganache inside of the cupcake. Mm. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know which one you want. It's mm, yeah. no. okay. yeah. fancy work that because I am not coordinated enough. Okay. Should I just? Yeah, you probably can. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. <laughs> well, I guess the, the trick is not getting greedy. <laughs> oh, I think the funnel should be better than the spoon. Oh, yeah. should. Yeah, I guess it will be less mess. Do you need a napkin? No. So just okay, that might be might be better just to do this kind of like spoon wise because that's gonna take all, all day. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want on the bigger one? Maybe better. I think that might be too fast. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me try mine. That one might be perfect because it's open. Yeah, that one will be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one will work good. Okay, it's this zipping up. That's yeah, all up to the top. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just up to the top or just below. Mm -hmm. Oh, you still have to make the frosting up top? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> I guess it's uh, about the same time as making kimchi. <laughs> I was about to say, it takes just three yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Oops, it's sorry. Okay. <laughs> and that is ganache. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's time to make frosting. All right, typically this recipe calls for two cups of butter at room temperature, five cups of powdered sugar, and six tablespoons of Baileys. Um, but for now, since I, every time that I have made this recipe, I have had more than enough icing to put in a giant container after my 24 cupcakes, we're going to cut the recipe in half and see what we come out with. If we need more, we'll make more. I'm just breaking up the butter to help it divide into the... Yeah. Thing mm. instead of being one giant clump. Also, oh, this time you don't have to heat it up. No. Well, it's at room temperature, but okay. All of it's room temperature, so if you can, set your butter out early. Yeah, I was your house is pretty warm. Well, Andrew put my butter back in the fridge. <laughs> I had it all set out this morning, but he put it all back in the refrigerator when he came home for lunch. Yeah. Because well, he didn't realize what I was doing. They're like, oh, I did something so considerate. I was like, dang you. Yeah, he's like, oh, good husband. She probably left this out. And then I'm like, no, bad husband. <laughs> Don't touch anything. for the whole thing. <laughs> Probably still gonna do six for the mild. Yeah. I was about to say because um I like the Baileys. Well I'm sure well, any of the there. light dairy based yeah. is gonna do that. Because mm -hmm. that was cream cheese and heavy whipping cream. Yeah. So those most certainly don't hold up well like that. But it tastes better. Yeah, it tastes better, but yeah. it doesn't hold up in room temperature because yeah. it's not a straight buttercream. Buttercream is the only one that'll stand up like that mm -hmm. in just regular room temperature. Everything yeah. else needs to be refrigerated. But they're, they're kind of too sugary. Yeah, that's yeah. why I don't like it. It feels like you can, when you're take, taking the bite, you can feel the sugar. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. And, and then the sugar feels like sand. <laughs> 
try it it was more like trying to convince my friends that the they're <laughs> yeah it was like a half pity on me i spent three hours making this Ma, I won't eat it. there's alcohol in it so that was like kind of my push to like well there's alcohol in it you know and they're just kind of like i don't know andrew and i'm like there's alcohol in it it's bailey's and, and uh, guinness and clear wrap i do not clear wrap That's why I like it. Okay. Because now I've done six. It's super fast. Mm. Yeah, I probably take a lot of time. It's just easier for me because I'm challenged with that. <laughs> I've had it spill out on me oh. like that. <laughs> I have okay. a nightmare trying to get that to work. You start from the. I outside. had I had one of those. Yeah, you start mm. from the outside and work your way in. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's why. That's why I wanted one of these. Because it doesn't do that. I'm not ready. I've done two of before. Can't remember. <clears throat> I need like a baking class from Michaels or something to learn how to use piping for cupcakes. <clears throat> okay, this is not too bad. So maybe I should use a small mouse. See, when I did it, I was holding... Oh, that's cute. Oh, trust me, I can do rolls. <laughs> I can teach you how to do the rolls. It's my favorite. I haven't ventured from this one that I have yet. Oh, the rest of the latest scene works better. Mm -hmm. Faster. <laughs> it's definitely faster. But does that come with like different mouse? Yeah, I have different ones. Oh, okay. I have all kinds of different ones. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just haven't played with the other ones yet. <laughs> Do you want to use this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let me try it. So you, you just can just finish that one off with that one. Okay. So which one do you push? There or there? You push this lever. Okay. As you're piping. Mm. The other one you only need to bring down if it's not coming out. Mm -hmm. But normally you don't have to. It feels like it's um, less edge than mine. That should be good, right? Yeah, that's okay. Cool. Irish car bomb cupcake. Yay! <clears throat> Can't see. I guess we gotta bring it in closer. The lighting. Oh. If that has a focus problem, just uh, click the, the thing a little bit halfway. It'll be alright. Okay. I'm not. What's this one? Oh, let's go. Yay, we made it! I mean, I made it. <laughs> I mean, finally, because she's already done. <laughs> yeah, that looks beautiful. Mm, beautiful, beautiful. And they taste good too. Yay, let's see. Oh, they look nice. That's my side. <laughs> mm -hmm. They kind of look different. Yeah. Mm. Alright, this is uh, the tutorial of how to make those Irish pop on cupcake. If you do like uh, my channel, please subscribe. We might make something more for the St. Patty Day. <laughs> Alright, bye! See you next time! Yay!